YouTube, Red Viking Trucker. I want to do a couple quick videos. I don't know how long I can last though. I'm down in Texas and my air conditioning and my tri-pack stopped working and the receiver has my keys at the desk, which is one thing you'll probably do at some of your receivers. Once you're docked, they take your keys so that you can't pull away from the dock while people are still moving in and out of the trailer. So, but I've run the air conditioner pretty hard, turned it off, gave them my keys. I got a little bit of air still in here, a little bit of cool air, but I want to do a couple quick videos. I haven't done any videos in about a week and a half. I've been super busy with my other project and uh, we're getting close to uh, launching. And I'll probably end up sharing it with you guys once we launch, but it's a whole separate business from the trucking business and it should be pretty good. But I want to do a couple quick videos. This video is about how to pay for things inside the travel centers on your corporate card. And I'm talking about things that apply to doing business, things for your truck, like oil, like windshield washer fluid if you need it, like you know transmission fluid, whatever it is. In my case, and I can't say this would be your case with your company, but in my case, I can't just walk inside and run my, my corporate card for anything other than a scale ticket. I have to, if I'm gonna get oil, let's say that I'm gonna pull up, and when I pull up to, to uh, fuel up, I check my oil first, and I'll tell you why because of this very, you know, how I have to use my card. If I need to add oil, I go inside, the truck's already parked at one of the fuel, fuel islands, I let them know which island I'm at, and then I take my, my oil up front and say I need to put this on this bill. And then she adds it to the, she starts my pump, adds it to the bill, and then when I fuel, it's all added together. The second way you can do it is by doing an EFT check, which I don't wanna get into all that noise. I, I'm, I can just make the quick walk and you know, do the do it this way. But you do have two ways, actually three ways if you pay for it yourself. You can do the upfront, add it to the, to the bill before you start fueling, do an EFT check, or pay for it personally and then transfer the receipt and have them, them pay you back. That's how I do it in my company. Let me also discuss one more thing with the corporate card. I didn't know this until this week. I had a situation where I had a load that was balanced out. I had paid for the scale ticket, which was $10.50 for the first scale. And then I reweighed for $2. And then I was driving down the road. Well, driving down the road, I had some lights come on that my tractor ABS was uh, having an issue, which means it's not catching. And I had a lot of weight in my trailer. I had almost a full 80,000 pound load, but heavy. I shouldn't say it's a no different, no different weight, I guess, but it's just a heavy, heavy load. So I stopped again at a whole different uh, travel center. I moved the tandem to move some weight off of the tractor tandems, the drive wheels. I've moved some weight, more weight back, even though I was already properly balanced. I moved some weight back and then went back in and reweighed. You know, had them run my corporate card again. That worked okay for the, the two times, but that afternoon I picked up another load. I went to run my card again that night. It was about six o'clock, so admins all gone from our offices, our corporate offices. It wouldn't take my corporate card because it was limited to uh, a total of uh, $30, whatever it was. Yeah, 30 bucks. It was limited to a total of 30 bucks for the day. And by using that last 1050, I was going over that amount. And I didn't know this at the time, but it wouldn't take my card. So I had to pay for it on my, on my personal LLC card and then I'm just gonna transfer the paperwork and get reimbursed. But you probably have the same thing on your card. Your, your weight uh, scales for your corporate card are probably limited to a certain dollar amount per day. Keep it in mind when you're out there weighing and out there doing business. So that's what this video is about, how to handle your corporate card. And again, I'm having a great time out here. It's been really, really good for me. I enjoy the, I enjoy the solitude. I enjoy the, the self-employment mindset, even though I'm still a company driver. And it's been good. And I love these Texas runs. It's a lot of windshield time. It's a lot of wheels turning, making some good miles, making some good money. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe, like, and comment. And remember, man, none of us get out of here alive. So what are you waiting on? Come on. Be good.